bang, JJ comes in a Skype call. And at that point, I'm like, oh, I'm in a Skype call with KSI, lads. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the time, he's like a huge giant, right? Yeah. So I'd go to college, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I was just playing like clubs and stuff. I'm like, okay, so <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm like, okay, so whatever. Who would I get rid of? All right, we'll, we'll sack Harry off. He's been arrested. <laughs> he's been arrested, <laughs> right? We'll sack Harry off. He's been arrested for carrying something. We had many meetings where we'd sit down and we think, well, well how are we going to do it even better than last year? Yeah. Like, it, it, it doesn't make sense because last year we thought we hit a pinnacle, like 100 million views in a month. Brian, I targeted you <laughs> a little bit. It was just seven but minutes of it. Yeah. Should I tell you what it is? Yeah. It's, <clears throat> it's because I just made fun of his shitty chest for the week before. <laughs> My bananas don't have souls. That's not sat, it's not sat in my kitchen bowl like this. Like, fuck, I wish I was back on the tree. In, in any world. I tried my utmost hardest. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. Mm. So you, you find vices. Like, I used to smoke weed quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I used to drink, like, just Jack Daniels, <coughs> mate. I'd, I'd, I'd go through pints of it. Is Jake that good? Jake is better than Logan. I think there's good nerves. Yeah. I think there's good. You should never confuse yeah. nervousness for fear. Right. Because good nerves, you should relish in. I think you should take them in because you yeah. should that should you, you should push you a bit further. Yeah, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous to run 26 miles and have it like documented and stuff like that. Of course I am. He showed me his bruised dick the night that it happened. I opened my eyes <laughs> and there's just a cock gear. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, Harry lad, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, he's an evil look, I've got booze on my dick. Oh no. <laughs>Hello guys and welcome back to Jack Mate's Happy Hour podcast. I just deafened myself because these are still so, so loud. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you good? Are you alright, mate? Not too bad. How's the drive up, alright? <laughs> no, not good? Nah, mate. Well, apparently it was, it was horrendous. To, it was supposed to sl uh, snow. Yeah, I got a little bit. It's yeah. a bit of sleet, nothing crazy. Oh, went for about eight different seasons, but yeah. My Uber driver went, did you see the snow? And I went, nah, uh, I was asleep. And he went, it was snowing at 10.30. I went, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah, I just didn't have the window open at, <laughs> at that point. We're slowly ticking off members of the side men, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We, we've had uh, we've had Simon, we've had Vic, we've had JJ. Yeah. Today, we uh, I was going to say we've we've got a big guest, but you've, you've lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Bazinga, the main man. How are yes, you, mate? Absolutely great, thank you. Pleasure to be involved. Thank you for coming in. Uh, we usually ask our guests their, their go-to meal deal. Okay. But before you tell us yours, I want right. to know, has it changed? Because obviously you used to be a big boy, not so much anymore. Um, I wouldn't say I'm into meal deal culture. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, there most definitely, definitely is a culture. Yeah, yeah there's a meal deal culture out <laughs> yeah. there. There definitely is. But yeah. I don't want to say it's changed because before I would have just eaten sweets or chocolate. Oh, okay. Whereas now I would get a sandwich right. or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Right. So nowadays... Tuna sweet corn okay. or chicken sweet corn, right. long calories. Protein, yeah, no matter what. Only about 235 calories a pack. Oh, he knows oh, it. He knows okay. it to yeah. the yeah. single yeah. calorie. Yeah. I love a hula hoop. Do yeah. you? I'll go with yeah. really sweet hula hoops. <laughs> no. And then I'll, I'll probably just get water. <laughs> I like how you say I love a hula hoop as if you just have one. That's the <laughs> diet. Yeah. I have one. Yeah. And do you say a water? Yes, a water. So many people have said water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's probably our most yeah. liked drink. Well, should I tell you what I think it is? When you're having a meal deal, right? You need yeah. something to wash the mouth out after the sandwich. Palette cleanser. And I wouldn't really want like sugar coated teeth when I'm tucking into my hula hoop no no I do you go still water sparkling yeah, water still water thank, thank god fuck for that yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 can, I, can, I, can I tell you something controversial right on the on the whole meal deal thing because mm. because a lot of people have sent me uh, apparently there's been tests done and they've discovered what the greatest meal deal is. I won't bother with all that shit. What I'll tell you is, apparently the third this is out of eleven thousand votes, mm. the third most voted for drink is a fucking Pella, St. Pella, whatever the fuck oh, it is. Oh, Pellegrino. Sparkling water. T yes. Tory Fanta. Oh, sparkling, oh what, the green, the green Yeah, the green ones. one. Sparkling water, third in the country. Bullshit. That's oh, disgusting. Yeah, absolute bullshit. Do you know what that is? That's the 1% getting the... <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, they did, the, they did the, the 11,000 people specifically in Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, see, I want to know what the nation's favourite meal do is now. I can tell you. Oh. Well, please so, do. Okay, okay so... <laughs> please, please. Chicken bacon sandwich. Oh, that's... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chicken bacon sandwich. Um, what was this? Oh yeah, Thai sweet chili sensations. Not surprised by that. Decent. Fair. Yeah. Decent. This one I dispute. Right. Naked smoothie. No flavour. Just naked smoothie. 
What and then no close. Flavor? Well, there's loads of there's loads there's of flavors. Flavors. Different so ones. There's loads of different yeah, ones. Yeah, but that's very but they vague. just said yeah. yeah, they just said naked smoothie. <laughs> uh, but if a close second was Diet Coke, and then followed up by sparkling water. I would have thought Diet Coke would have been I would've. first. Yeah. I would have. A lot yeah, of people so do go. smoothies for the monetary value, though, don't they? Yeah, if yeah. you're not yeah. getting if you're not getting a smoothie, yeah, you're True. doing you're not you're not True. you're not doing it right. Yeah, yeah. in my opinion, am I not getting the volume with my water? Well, you are. Yeah. Exactly. Where did the name come from? Bazinga. Bazinga. Interesting one. So I grew up in the Call of Duty era so I had loads of like six shots names and stuff like that <laughs> um, but at the time I was a big um, Big Bang Theory fan mm. and whenever Sheldon's being sarcastic yeah. or the ball pit scene he said Bazinga oh. I whacked it in spelt it differently as my gamer tag <laughs> one day and bang it stuck is, is that um I can't stand that show. Really? No. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, have you I, was seen... like, <laughs> I was about to say, you said at the time I was a big bang fairy. <laughs> yeah. I was... I've, I've just grown out of it. You know, like I just don't watch TV that much anymore. Yeah. I, I barely, I struggled to commit to things on Netflix. This is, I was having yeah. this conversation the other mm. day with someone. I go through Netflix and I'll, and I think I'll sack it off. Call of Duty. Yes. Is that where it all began? Me and the boys from school back in the day, it was always just go home, jump on COD, go home, yeah. jump on mm. COD. Then I got my first, I was into racing games as well, but that was more just my own like, Pleasure time. Like, yeah. yeah. That sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I jump on racing games as well. But that's where it all started. Call of Duty, wanting to upload clips. Yeah. Nice. Same, pretty that, much the same as a lot of people. Yeah, like all the side men like yeah. started the same way, didn't they? Yeah. What, what What's your best COD? My best COD? Oh, should I tell you, I really enjoy the new one. Like a lot. Yeah, it's good, really, isn't it? I'm it's re- fucking good. I really enjoy it. Mm, but yeah. my best ever, Call of Duty 4. Always yeah, original, so exactly. many people say that. I feel yeah. like that's the OG one to go yeah, for. Yeah. I bought an Xbox. Well, my mum bought an Xbox, mm. uh, an Xbox Live, and World at War because that had yeah. just come out, right? So jumped on that. But all the boys at school were like, "What are you doing, mate? Why are you playing that? No, like, we don't like one. that." Yeah. So I was like, "What? Am I just going to play it by myself?" So they was like, "Oh, go and get COD Four. So I got COD Four, and then, lo and behold, my life just changed. Yeah, it was amazing. Nah, the nah. Three five seven kill streak was like. Oh. If I'd have known you back then, me and you on COD Five, that was the one. World at War. I like the MP40 though. Yeah, and the push. The push. The push. push. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, dome. If yeah, everyone yeah. out there that's like, yeah. if you're a COD Five fan, you're my kind of yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Dome. Dogs with a seven kill streak. Yeah. Christmas Day till New Year's Day. <laughs> I'd just play that consecutively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got a th- I got a perfect game on that one. It's the yeah, only one I got a perfect game yeah, on. Yeah. I think they started getting silly. I know that you boys, like in the side men, like you really boomed around like the Modern Warfare Two mm. era. Yeah. But was that the first one with the nuke? Yes, the didn't need, it. Was didn't the need that. Nuke. What's that about? Like, if you get that, the game's over. Do you know, I think yeah. that's like but that's pretty much just like putting your cock on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, ah, yeah. no, I'm this good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that. I'm just bitter because I never got one. <laughs> yeah. I remember when they when they first bought in the jetpacks and everything. Oh, I yeah. thought it was ridiculous, was and then like I really liked Black Ops something. Three, and I don't oh. know, was it Black Ops Three or Two? I loved one of them. Black Ops Two was amazing. Yeah, so it's Two. I just got addicted to it, but running on the walls and stuff, I was like, why am I enjoying this so much? That's fucking stupid. Like, Call of Duty like peaked at like World at Wars, Modern Warfare Twos, and then just. Yeah. Well, what was the first video you ever uploaded? Do you remember? First video I ever uploaded. Definitely like, 360 no scope. <laughs> I had channels before my current Bazinga one. Oh, did you? Um, and they had like one still up. I think it is. It's called Synced. S Y N Q D. Nice. And that just has a like an editing montage on it of me just right. shooting. Clips well, that's still that's still COD. Like, yeah, it is still COD. Yeah, but hmm. I used to. I used to play and edit my stuff. I used to think I was a good editor. Yeah. I used to do all that slow-mo syncing. Yeah. Music, like, <laughs> all of it. All of it. Um, but the first one on this channel is, I think it's a, it's a racing video. Yeah. Uh, I was into drifting. That was my thing. Right. But then okay. my first upload DK on this over channel. It. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, mate. Forza Motorsport 3. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my, f- my first run of videos on my current channel are hilarious if you go and look at them. Honestly, there's like Skate 3, Epic Faceplant. It's, 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 it's 13, Seven second video. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, I think yeah. it's 13 seconds. My bloke jumps into a thing and falls on his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a talking Ted app once. And I uploaded that, and it's just me pressing buttons of making him burp and fart. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I was actually like of age to be doing this as well. Like, what are they doing? Yeah. To be fair, we've seen the Sidemen Sundays. It's not come on that far. I I made a channel called PS3 Unlocked, and I was like, this, this is going to be like all the That's secret. That's quite time gated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but this is before my voice had broken, and uh, I, I, I wrote this script pretending to be the developer of Call of Duty, and I was like, right, guys. 
guys. I can I can officially confirm the new maps are going to be called. And I just made up three names for, for maps. <laughs> supermarket. Uh, it's going to be set in a supermarket. <laughs> and on this terrible American <laughs> voice as well. And I got a throwing knife kill on high rise. Oh, no, actually, nice. I think I just ripped it off someone else. I could have ripped it off you. Yeah. How can you not remember? I was shit at COD. I am shit at COD. It probably wasn't you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back before Call of Duty. What can you remember? What was life like before before YouTube? Um, I was pretty much the classic boisterous naughty boy in class. Like, yeah, all my school reports say that once I got something, I used to pick things up really quickly. I, I still do with like driving. It's just stuff I pick up quite quickly. Mm. But that's when I turn to distracting other people because in my head I'm like, oh cool, I can go home and do the homework. I've got it. Yeah. Um. So a lot of my school, college, and stuff like that was smashing it out of the way for myself but then distracting other people right and the teachers hated that yeah you got kicked out didn't you yeah i've been i've been suspended a few times yeah, yeah. um <laughs> yeah. but it, that was it i was an angry little boy as well um i wouldn't say angry maybe just oh, well, you did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I was on the edge i was on the edge quite a lot of just like i'm oh, ready to go but that was just mm. because i was going through stuff at home stuff like that like i was constantly just on the edge and ready to have like a little scrap or something right. like that yeah yeah so yeah i had plenty of scraps in school not yeah. proud of it mm. but i mean it's part of me. It's part of what I went through. So I mean, I'm on the better side now. I'd like yeah. to be quite calm, cool, collected now. Mm. But now you just commentate on scraps. That's what you do now. Exactly. So look. You, you've taken that and you've used it for good. I get my enjoyment. Yes. Yeah. You grew up in Romford, didn't you? Yes. Is yeah. that that's near nearish Upton Park way? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're around there. It's it's probably about 15 minute drive. Right. It really is in that. So part was your life kind of like a Green Street then? Um, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe like a 13 year old's version maybe, maybe but mate I'm from Norwich and because I love that film so much and obviously Sport West Ham I was walking around as a 13 year old Pete Dunham but like, I thought I was Pete Dunham like, you've seen the, you must have seen the pictures of me with yeah, a skin yeah. and that I look, I, look, I look like the boy from This Is England I was then thinking that that's exactly what I was thinking I used to just wear an England strip everywhere <laughs> it's mad how come you Sport West Ham just because you're from it's that just, way just grown up with it that was it yeah um, dad Dad supported West Ham. Yeah, so we're always away, and then everyone around me pretty much supported West Ham as well. How did um, how did you meet the Sidemen boys? Oh, fun story. Mm. Um, so let's separate them into Josh and Toby, friends for eleven years. Yeah, JJ Simon, friends for pretty much whole of childhood as well. Right. Um, me in Essex streaming. That's where I started. I started on Twitch. Yeah. And back when like six hundred viewers was like a huge thing, I was sort of streaming FIFA twelve. Uh, no face cam, nothing. Just sat there on Altman team. That's J mad, isn't it? You couldn't pull in views like that now no, with no, no face cam and no, stuff. Not, yeah, not a chance, yeah. mate. Not a chance. Um, and at the time, Bateson was streaming at the time as well. Right. Um, so it was like me and him streaming FIFA at the time. I knew who Josh was. Mm. He jumped in my stream on his birthday, right? So I played it cool. I, was like, <laughs> I, was like, I know who this guy is because I still played COD alongside FIFA at that point. It's like, yeah, you're right, mate. La, la, la. I knew we was into the same thing, same sort of music, whatever. That's it. Just stuck. Like We ended up talking to each other in stream a bit. Um, he came on to one of my little FIFA series mm. where I just played him. Upload, that's still on my still on my channel, I think. It's just me going head to head against Zerka. Mm. Um, so me, Josh, and to that's how I met Toby as well through Josh in a Skype call, pretty much every night after college, stuff like that. Josh knew JJ. Bang, JJ comes in a Skype call, and at that point, I'm like, oh, I'm in the Skype call with KSI lads. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the time, he's like a huge giant, right? Yeah. So I'd go to college, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I was just playing like clubs and stuff. I was like, okay, so <laughs> uh, KSI, okay, so Zerka, like, whatever. Then Simon came in because he he was he was doing camera work for JJ at the time, mm. and it, that was genuinely it. It was a Skype group of me, Josh, Toby, JJ, and Simon for for the longest time. Grad Theft Auto come out. We was playing online, filming it, and then the online crew thing came out, right? Right. So, mm. um, we had a few sessions with Vic in there. AA9 Skills joined as well, but he's he's now not part of it. But right. Vic, Vic came in, stuck. Yeah. So then there were six. Um, and then at the time, Harry was doing like really well. Like he'd exploded. Yeah. But I think he was like, I don't know how old he was, but he was really young. Mm. And you know, you just get in and around the wrong people that will encourage you to do stupid things, stuff like that. Yeah. So sort of just... But, took him in under the wing and then he stuck fair and then we made a crew on GTA called the ultimate side men 
thankfully we dropped the ultimate yeah. <laughs> we we're still knocking around to the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the ultimate side bet <laughs> and that was it we'd jump on every day pretty much yeah. film a GTA video whatever it was and the crew started on GTA yeah. it's weird because yeah. that's what I, I, a lot of um, like older people and I'm talking like 50s 60s mm. like my dad and that he's, my dad's quite hip for as far as dads go but like they they can't get the head around the concept of mm. what the side men are can they <laughs> like, they, they think no. it's some group I remember when we first had you in you were like what, what are the yeah, side I, I, you asked I, Vic. I asked Vic what the side men actually yeah. were yeah. yeah I thought it was like it took me a while to realise yeah. but, but it's not it's not a thing like you would never add anyone else to it would you no 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 definitely not I don't really? think anyone would leave or anyone would join really who yes. if you if you had to choose two YouTubers to join who are you going for we, I think we've asked a lot of the boys yeah. I would choose Nico Omelana oh I'd choose big. Nico mm. and I'd probably choose Chunks, I reckon. Really? Yeah, I think them two are just a good little duo to add. Yeah. Cal Freezy yeah. and Calix are going to be seething. <laughs> <aren't they? laughs> I'll tell you why I haven't said them because they have been around with us. We've got like a WhatsApp group that's called like the fucking troops. Like right. they've been around from the from the get go. Like they yeah. they sort of operate in their own entity as well. Yeah. So I don't necessarily know if they'd want to be lumped in. And, and be in the side men but that's not me saying well they'd like a little slice of that merch sales revenue I'm sure <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sure everyone would be honest. I'm sure everyone would but um, I think I think Nico at the minute makes some of the best videos that are coming out of the UK and have come out of the UK in a long time yeah mm. um and then Chunks is just hilarious. Like, yeah. His comedy really gets to it. That, that, yeah. Whenever somebody says Chunks, have you seen that clip of him on um, Sky Sports when they ask him to sing? <laughs> <laughs> Live on Sky. Yeah. I, lo- I love that guy. I love that guy. We, uh, I, I started with the, uh, the easier question. I'm going to hit you with a hard one now and see All if right, you, you might want to wriggle out of this one. Yeah. All right. If you had to get rid of two of them, oh. who are you getting oh, rid no, of? I knew this was coming. You can give political answers. You can yeah. swerve it you if you want. You can even sacrifice yourself. Do I have to answer? <laughs> like, right. So <laughs> theoretically, or oh, let's say there's scandals involved. Or something. <laughs> cool. Right, who's the pedo? <laughs> 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 I mean, Stephen tries gate everything. We can't do this. Who would I get rid of? All right, we'll we'll sack Harry off. He's been arrested. <laughs> He's been arrested. Right? We'll sack Harry off. He's been arrested for carrying something. <laughs> oh, who knows? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> Josh has gone to prison too, right? <laughs> because. He, he's been funneling funds through a different account. <laughs> right. Theoretically. Yeah. Yeah. Not well, saying this they're is... not pedophiles. It's yeah. okay. Not saying this is happening, lads. I just had to scrap, scrap to it. Yeah. You said theoretically, but it does say a lot that your brain went there. Instantly. <laughs> instantly. Money laundering and other... Carrying. Yeah. Just up possessions. Orifices. Yeah. Possessions and things. Oh, dear. I, I don't really know as much as I should about, like, um, you boys. Like, mm. I've been a fan of you all sort of, like, separately. But yeah. as a, as a collective... I don't know too much. I watch the Sidemen Sunday videos, but mm. who um, did you used to live with any of them? No, no, I've always lived alone. I oh, moved, have you? I moved out just as I turned 19. Right. Uh, and that was into the Halo Tower in yeah. Stratford, the, the one in Stratford. Um, so I had a three bedroom spot there by myself. But what was so good about that tower is, is I was on one floor. Cal, Cal and Harry were literally the floor below me so like I could stamp on them um, <laughs> and then Toby was a few floors above so it was like oh, mad. and then JJ had the penthouse at one point as well right so that's what was so good we could go in between flats film a video downstairs literally whack it back up upstairs uh, go to Toby's film whatever and that was it that was so good you go to Westfield for lunch like it was just so handy to have yeah. like, other people doing the exact same yeah. thing around you yeah so I lived there by myself um but yeah, I've never lived in a house with it. With Fair. Yeah. Did you not? Did you feel like you were like missing out, or because well, you were so close anyway? Did at it? the time that they moved into the very first like sidemen house, mm. I was still at college. I think I was in my last year of college, and um, I was trying hard to just get get that finished, get qualified in that. <clears throat> and they were saying, "Oh, yeah. like at the time we was all pretty much earning enough to support ourselves, whatever it was." Mm. But at the time there was only that uh, it was not feasible for me to try and move in right. it wasn't feasible for Toby to move in because I think he was still in uni finishing his course so that it was the people that were free from yeah. education and stuff like that they sorted themselves out got the house oh fair yeah. what, what what were you studying you mentioned college yes <coughs> games development and web design was my was my. oh thing. fair yeah. Yeah. have you still got an interest in that then yeah I do Yeah, that sounded I, like a no. <laughs> no no shall I tell you what it is it takes a lot of like a lot of brain brain time yeah, yeah. and it really does I've got a game on my computer that I made whilst I was at college it's like a little pixel 
art 2D game. Right. I was really proud of it. That's the thing. Like, I really geek out and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Graphic design and, and stuff like that is is my thing. Do you still oh, game a lot now? Because <laughs> your channel's like a lot of like gym heavy and stuff like yeah, that, which we'll, we'll get mean, to. But That's why we had the second channels in place. Like All the sidemen have like a Bazinga and then a Betawinga or Simon's got Mini Minter MM7 games. Right. We but all had you, second do you, channels. Do you upload much on there? No, though? that's pretty much in YouTube's museum now. That's like a relic. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah it hasn't yeah. got an upload on it in five months. But that's, that's because I don't play games to that extent anymore yeah i my days are so busy with other things now that i might jump on and play cod and that's that's pretty much the only game i play yeah i yeah. might have a game of fifa or two if it's clubs mm. that's probably mm. all i play but i'm now the classic like bloke gamer that just gets home yeah finishes yeah. what he does plays four yeah, games yeah, yeah. cod then goes that to bed. probably just a thing that comes of age doesn't it yeah, yeah. I, I don't play <clears throat> as much as i'd like to really i yeah. think the fans would really like to see you play it though wouldn't they that's that's the one thing mm. is that i could i could easily set up streams for when I'm playing COD and it'd just be like a chill or whatever. But I also like a cutoff point. Yeah. So like throughout the day, if I'm filming for my main channel or I'm filming like a brand deal project or whatever it is, or something's taken like, a, like I uploaded yesterday, like a train in a week, like something. Yeah. Like it mm. takes a lot of my time out to dedicate and make a really good video over, mm. the, over that time. So when I do want to just sit and play games with my mates, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just like my cutoff point because there was a time when I was uploading three videos a day, there was gaming and whatever. You don't turn off, mate. Mm -hmm. And that's when I went through like a really dark period because you need that. Yeah. yeah just yeah. press the off button and chill. I can't imagine. Three a day, I cannot imagine that. I barely do three a month. Yeah. <laughs> so I have three a day. That's I can what Josh used to say is like, I used to like that was Ethan in grind mode, like real grind mode when like we all knew like oh, we want to be here. So yeah. like, I would... Uh, wake up in the morning, get two trains to college, bang, college, get out of the way, get two trains back. So you were doing three like, a day and you were at yeah, college? Yeah, yeah. So <coughs> that, that's why you had to be in that's advance. Um, I'd get two trains back at like five, six o'clock, get home to, uh, yeah, probably like seven. Uh, I'd try and have a nap because I'd only slept like three hours a night before. Um, have a nap, jump on the Skype call, film GTA, Gary's Mod and another random game. Uh, edit those up before I went to bed, go to sleep at like five, six o'clock again. Rinse, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So I was running like three hours sleep plus a nap. Yeah. Fucking three hell. Videos out. That's, That's not sustainable. <sighs> no, at all. it was all one man teams back then as well. There wasn't like editors, like, and it, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. it was almost frowned upon to have an editor at that point. Mm. Yeah. Like you couldn't. It was. So when, when people like, mug off the side men and stuff mm. like that, like they don't see all that, do they? No, they don't see all that previous. That's what I mean. There's, an, there's like, you, you merely see a scratch surface yeah. level of like what actually from like 2013 whenever we started mm. to now like there was such a period where it wasn't just like it was all individual channels like we all had like a main channel a second channel then we moved into doing the group stuff like there's so much stuff that just never really got touched on yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> again like the older people that I was speaking about like they'll probably be like oh they just played games for a living but yeah, they, they played a lot of games and yeah. a lot of editing and yeah, stuff yeah that's and what I mean and it, being self-taught to try and edit it's not like you just grew up with this magical power to be able to go alright oh, ah, oh, ah, yeah. bang done yeah, yeah. that's it no, upload it it's not that's not the process behind it you've got to think of like oh today we want to do this in GTA so we do that oh plan it all out oh yeah cool that's good add, add the funny effects add the sound music how does that hit comedic timing of cutting the music like, yeah like, just yeah. It's really simple. There thing. is a lot that goes on yeah, behind the scenes. Like even with my stuff, and again, I don't upload loads, but I, I, I take me three days to do a video. Of course. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. people don't necessarily see all that. And all I do is sit and chat shit. So I can't mm. imagine what, what, <laughs> what, what you put You have to script it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Record, yeah. editing. Yeah. People see like a final product, a polished, nice, shiny thing that they enjoy for 10, 12 minutes, yeah. whatever it is. And then they move on to the next 10, 12 minute video. But that's it. They don't think, oh, of course. Like they might think, oh, that was a good video, like it, but they don't think like, oh, shit, he does this every week. Yeah, and it must be quite a lot of effort if you've got other projects going mm. on the side mm. as well. You all work quite hard. Who would you say works the hardest if you had to pick one? Out the side, man. Yeah, Ugh, JJ's relentless. Yeah, all, always has been, but that's because like he's got his tree has an olive branch everywhere. Like his his is dangling every basket you can think of. That's mad. So he gets dragged around all over the gaff. He's in LA one week and back whilst filming Sidemen videos on top of it, making his second channel videos, making music. So his, I think he goes very much under the radar because of how much he doesn't upload. Right. But everywhere else, he yeah. works incredibly hard. Um, he's always all over the place. Uh, Video-wise, I'd probably say Simon Simon and Vic are up there. Oh, yeah, really? Si Simon and Vic. Um, Simon's always thinking about the next idea and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And he he's the main controller of the second channel, the Sidemen second channel. Really? So he comes up with all the ideas for that. Uh, wow. Organises the shoot days for that. 
gets the thumbnails made and stuff like that. So Fair he, play. He, he takes control of the side of my second channel. And what? then Vic, Vic just pumps out content. Mm. Everyone does their own thing. That's the thing. Mm. It's really hard to say like who works hardest. And then Josh handles like, it, I'm telling you now, we wouldn't be where we are without Josh. Not a chance because of like his help within the clothing, like finding suppliers, stuff like that in the early stages and everything he does with like accounts and, and dealing with like the, the admin stuff. Not a chance. You, you think... He, you need like a silver fox like him yeah. in the camp to do the stuff that the idiots like me don't do. Right, yeah, but yeah, that's probably why you work so well because you're yeah. all cogs in this machine. That, you that all is it. Add a different... Nowadays as well, I think there was a time when we was a bit of a clunky machine mm. like because pe like people were just doing their own thing, not really... Whereas now everyone's got the same targets and goals. Mm. I think we're... <laughs> very well oiled like yeah we're, we're, we're churning right now yeah. and, that, and that's why it's booming yeah, like, yeah i think last year was incredible for you last wasn't year, it? that's it last year was incredible and we had we had many meetings where we'd sit down and we think well, well how are we going to do it even better than last year yeah like, it, it, it doesn't make sense because last year we thought we hit a pinnacle like 100 million views in a month or whatever yeah it's like how, how do we better that and yeah then the first two months of this year it's Ridiculous. Well, ha with the Sidemen Sundays, mm. how how does that work? Because they're such big projects, yep. each one. Do you all chip in on the ideas? Do you take a week each? Like, yeah, so we have a we have a rotor. So one week will be JJ's responsibility. One week will be mine. One week will be Josh's. And with that responsibility is uh, speaking to the people that you need to speak to to get a venue. Maybe it's a studio. Maybe it's a football pitch. Maybe whatever whatever the case is. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, that that's all your responsibility. Uh, getting the props, uh, getting the cameramen, like as many ops as you need. However you plan on getting it shot. Um, like the most recent one was for me was spill or fill your guts. So yeah, drawing up like a design. Right, we need cameras here. Blah, 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 whatever. Um, what did you plan that one? Yeah, yeah, that one was that one was my responsibility. And then this year, at the start of the year, we actually hired a full time editor. Whereas oh, right. before, if it was your rotor, I would use like my Charlie. I don't right, know if you've met Charlie, no. Nah. Um, He's my videographer, editor, stuff like that. So that's what it'd be. It'd be you putting it with your team, right? Each time round, or people you knew. Oh, that's class. But yeah. but because th all the videos are, they follow a similar style. So I wouldn't have yeah. ever thought. I, like, I I couldn't look at uh, one of the videos and go, "That's an Ethan video, or that's yeah. a Harry video, or something yeah, like that's, that." That's what that's what's so good is that is when when we do get revisions of videos, it goes in the chat. We all write notes for it. We all have like a feedback process. And that's what's been even better about this year is the fact that now we've got a full-time dedicated editor that is just for the Sidemen channel. Mm. All videos, he he knows what he's doing now because he did a few last year. He did the hide and seeks last year pretty much. Yeah. Um, but this year, he's, we, we realise it's like really handy to just have someone on board that will you upload it to Dropbox because he's in America, bang, smashes out the revisions as quick as possible, gets it in the chat, everyone can write their notes and feedback on it, mm. get another revision in, and then it's seven, seven eyes are better than... Yeah. Who who's um come up with the biggest bangers? Would you say who's JJ. got has he JJ JJ in the dating videos? He's he's the mastermind behind all the dating videos. Yeah, absolutely. What's too. what's your biggest banger? My biggest banger, the calorie challenge. Oh, <laughs> Shock. Yeah. Shock! I think that one's the the where, the one where we tried to eat ten. It's funny. I take care of all the food ones. Spill off all your guts. Eating calorie challenge. Burning calorie challenge. Yeah, every 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 food one is pretty much around me. I've got, I've got this. It's just funny how it works out. But yeah. yeah, the the first um, ten thousand calorie challenge each, we shit, shit out the title, mm. and put seventy thousand calories. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. It fucking banged me. <laughs> yeah. um, that's probably my biggest bang. Yeah. So, what 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 were your? I want to speak a bit about the side Ben roast. Mm. Obviously, um, I was lucky enough to be invited down to take part in that. That was yeah. fun. Uh, what did you boys think of that? What was your honest opinions? Well, like. I don't think any of us are really. We knew what we was getting ourselves into. We yeah. knew that this this is people's opportunities to just like <laughs> yeah. have a little niggle, or maybe like <laughs> any insecurities or whatever it is. But we knew what was coming. We knew that there was certain types of content yeah. on the way. But it's what our audience wants as well. Like yeah. everyone's audience loves a little bit of like pain or or mm, just yeah, mugging yeah, yeah. off or whatever. So. And that's why they like doing it in the comments. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was just like dream for them to have mm. other YouTubers from the UK that they know rinse us. Yeah. yeah. Do you, um, do you think anyone it. took it too far? I don't... Someone in particular? Who? I, I was in the audience. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And uh, it, it, it felt like... <coughs> Bri Brian targeted you <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it was just seven but minutes of it. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I tell you what it is? Yeah. <clears throat> it's because I just made fun of his shitty chest for the week before. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it was coming, mate. I put it in the chat, right? Yeah. And I was like, I've, been, I've said it in the videos multiple times. And there was... 
listen, you, my joke went, it was a fucking great joke, right? So we had, we were handcuffed for the day, right? And we mm. went in a sex shop downstairs, right? And we're talking to the woman and she can hear us on our mic. Hey, right? what do you mean downstairs where? In a sex shop, not be at Tottenham oh, Court Road. Oh, I so, thought you meant like no, where you no, live no, underneath no, no, the no. sex shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they all live in the yeah, tower. <laughs> no, so... Uh, yeah, so I knew that he might have seen that joke. Um, what did you say? They took us downstairs and then you can just hear our mics, right? So we had to film the outside of the shop. So they took us down to the lower bit and I just made a little joke. I was like, cool, Brian would love that because it was just a <laughs> fucking massive black hole. <laughs> huge, <laughs> huge. <laughs> I just made a passing joke about that. Yeah. And then the lead up to that week, I was like, hey, he's going to come for me because I've made fun of his sheet chest. Yeah. yeah. That, that Watching it. that, it looked like he just hated you. Like, it yeah, didn't yeah, seem yeah. like there was comedy going into it. It was just like mm. pure seething hatred. Oh, oh, listen, I like Brian a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've got a lot of time for him, but I knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah. I, everyone good. had a different style, though, didn't they? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stephen tried. I love so, Stephen. So yeah. good. Oh. I, was, I was speaking to him before. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, I, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was nervous. Yeah, I was were. well nervous because I didn't, I didn't know like half the people in the audience if they fucking hate me. Like I didn't know what was going on. I was like, right, okay. So I was speaking to Stephen and I was like, mate, I'm shitting it. And then he was like, yeah, so am I. <laughs> but he just didn't look it at no. all. He's just so fucking natural. His, so his style of comedy is outrageously good. Like, yeah, we had him on this week. We we filmed two videos and we, he was he was part of both of those. Right, did like a dragon's den. Yeah. Um, and then we also did a, another Sidemen Tinder. So we got him on both of those. And it, it get, like his humor is just so good. Yeah. It's so, so good. Yeah. Like some of the little sly bits under his breath or whatever, you, you, you pick up on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's so, a bit Alan Partridge, isn't it? So but good. yeah. It's brilliant. Did, did, um, did any of you boys get get offended? Or did. <sighs> nah. Nah. I don't, Simon got it a bit from Lux. Mm. And regarding Talia and stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The nuts. atmosphere fucking changed with yeah, that yeah. shit. It was yeah. nuts. Yeah. It was it tangible. Was, <laughs> I'll tell you what, having the audience was like, it was a good thing. Yeah. It was a yeah. good thing. Because imagine if it was just, to say we just rented out like a studio or whatever for you guys to come in and it would have just been us reacting to it. Yeah. That's yeah. when you might have been just been sat there like, oh shit. But when yeah. you've got your friends and stuff in there, like, it's a laugh. I'll tell yeah. you why I, why I think I was so nervous is because I had the joke that was set up to make it seem like a racist joke <laughs> yeah. when really I was speaking about the race, Toby's mm. race, yeah. uh, as in the 100 metres. And I could just see Vidal and Leon sat, <laughs> sat in the front, front row. row. Yeah. Front row. <laughs> Not the two nicest yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> when you were delivering that because we because I'd already heard all the stuff you were gonna deliver. I just had all I was just I won't look at you, I was just looking at them too, just thinking like they're gonna charge <laughs> yeah. and break yeah. his jaw. I was trying not to look at him. I think at one point you can just hear me ask squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to do a part two on that? Um maybe we could yeah. do but it's, it's a str we was thinking like maybe you could you could do a sideman roast and like you could not to make profit off it but you could ticket it and get it get it open to fans oh yeah like, 100% again, bring oh, mate, like other YouTubers that. and stuff 100%. as well but you we, whenever we've done events in the past like we did tours in Cardiff uh, where we rent or like Manchester where we rent rooms out but we only sell tickets to match what we paid for it right like, there was never a profit made off of any side men meet and greets because oh, fair. what we did is it, and it's the same thing we'd do with the roast is yeah. we, we'd, uh, we'd do it but only sell tickets to then yeah. match whatever that would be class because yeah. having, having that kind of like the loud the audio yeah yeah would yeah, be, yeah. Would so, be that would be so good who, yeah. who, who would you get new like what new people would you get in to oh it's hard right Right? Mm. because you've got to have the people that you know are going to deliver stuff and the people that know you best is sort of can, can do a good job that's yeah. why Freezy, Freezy and Lux were I enjoyed theirs quite a lot yeah. I, I find the way Lux delivers things really well yeah um, I don't know who you could get new maybe like Will you could get Will involved yeah Nico maybe, yeah Nico could have a go mm. Nico could have I a don't, go I don't know if Nico would that's do that's what it. I mean yeah, and I don't know Did, if, didn't we did we talk about that? Yeah, because I sat in a moniker and he was like, "Yeah, he was just like, oh, I don't yeah. know if it's for me." Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it'd be good, but I think he's got his style. Do you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got that sort of lockdown. So I'd love to see him do it. Yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong, but uh, no, I'd love to see a part two. So, so get Could on be. it. Try and try and make it bigger <laughs> and better. Before we go to a break, we've come up with a game. Right, <laughs> uh, I have found uh, with the help of uh, these boys and the lovely Fiona, we found some old tweets from you from you guys. Here Don't worry, nothing, no, nothing <laughs> no. incriminating. Yeah, yeah. No, but I know we was all like little weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, so. Yeah, was yeah. yeah. Some of them uh, are great. So welcome to the game of side mentions. 
Nice. <laughs> That's good. I struggled. Good. I'll be honest. I was, I'm going to read these tweets. There's 10, tom, 10 points up for grabs, and you've got to tell me who you think tweeted it. I'll give you the dates as well for each one. Okay? Oh, righty then. Right. And you, you will have a score at the end of this. Yeah. Oh. You're keeping scores. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. I've got yeah, my, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming he's not going to even hit 10. So I'm just going <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, to use the one hand. <laughs> uh, you can play along at home, so uh, get ready. This is the first one. It was tweeted September the 13th, 2016, four years ago, three mm. and a half years ago. I'm not even joking. I've woken up today with a bruise on my dick, and when I piss, it stings, sad face. What the fuck? Can't be asked. I know who this is. <laughs> this is Road to Shore. Yeah. Yes. This is Road to Shore yeah. because he showed me his bruised dick the night that it happened. Wow. Yes. Wow. So we was in you Germany at uh, Gamescom. Right. And I th- I'm, I'm sure this is it, right? Yeah. I'm sure that I think, is this it? All right. Anyway, I think this is it. Otherwise, I'm just telling Harry story. There's no mention of you seeing the dick. No, no, no. So, no. So, so this is in the morning, right? Where he's woken up and he's gone for a piss and it stings. Yeah. Um, no, so I went home early from, we was at a place called uh, Pasha in, in Germany, whatever. Um, we, we'd gone we'd gone home. I'd gone home. I was sharing a room with Harry. Mm. And um, I'm fast asleep. So there's two beds next to each other with a lamp in the middle. <laughs> I get like a little like a knock. Is that how we got the bruise? <laughs> <laughs> I get a little rock crow and I open my eyes and the lamp's on. I open my eyes and there's just a car gear. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Harry lad, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, he's an easy look, I've got bruise on my dick. Oh no. <laughs> you boys are so close, so much closer than I thought you were. Yeah, we so, wouldn't do that. Uh, so there's another funny story about that trip as well. Harry just slept drunk in the shower. Absolutely. Oh, he flooded the entire bathroom <laughs> on checkout day so we had to just get up and go oh, you should oh, start man. filming this stuff for the oh, side men Sundays imagine yeah. so yeah I woke up to a, a bruised Harry Cock fair enough so that's, one that's one in one, one. Yeah. this one is around a similar time July 14th 2016 mm. Went outside to catch an Eevee found the neighbour's escaped dog and said took him back home smiley face <laughs> lovely wholesome tweet there Vic Star's the only one that put a smiley face <laughs> <laughs> he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got yeah. two in two. Yes. He was going to go down the duck route, but I thought yeah. it'd be too obvious. Yes. I've actually already got my second hand ready. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are like fairly normal. Some of them yeah. are a bit weird. This is more one of the normal ones. The time's a bit weird. So this was tweeted um, at 6 a.m. Mm. Cheeky 6 a.m. BLT from 24, 24 hour Tesco's before bed. Smiley face. Another smiley face. Another smiley face. Is it Vic again? Oh, tense. I don't think Vic would have a BLT. I don't think Vic, Vic would have a BLT. <laughs> <laughs> would Vic have a BLT at 6 a.m. before bed? Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna whack Simon. I'll say Simon. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, it's dude. Josh. Oh, I was between Josh or Simon because it's like it's like boring Zerk tweet. Having a BLT before going to sleep. That is quite boring. I get that. <laughs> this one, December the twelfth, two thousand sixteen. Just five words. Mm. A bucket full of batty. Nice. <laughs> nice. What is that? What is that? A bucket full, full of batty. <laughs> Trying to, I wouldn't have tweeted a bucket full of batty. It's not me. <laughs> Josh wouldn't have tweeted a bucket full of batty. I don't think it's him. JJ wouldn't have tweeted. A, that's not how JJ talks. JJ wouldn't have put a bucket full of batty. <laughs> Neither would Vic, right? So that's what we got. So we're looking at Harry, Simon, or Toby. Yeah. Toby wouldn't have put bucket full of batty. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. The juice yeah. of it. Yeah. I'm going to say Simon. <laughs> You're right! That is yeah. mental! Amazing. Right. He even showed his working down there. <laughs> yeah. the, the funniest part of how we found these old tweets is that we just put one of your apps and then a random word. <laughs> and I found that one by searching at Mini Minter, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and someone had replied to that tweet, I'd rather a bucket full of chocolate. <laughs> Brilliant. Is, do you know any context behind that? A bucket full of batty? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, couldn't tell you. Fair enough. Oh, so this one's quite long. This was three tweets um, in, in oh. one. Probably the weirdest one we've got. October 17th, 2017. I was vlogging this turtle and then it peed on me. So I moved out the way in disgust and the turtle continued to aim in my direction. I was like, what the fuck, bitch? And then the fucking turtle replied and said, you're a bitch. I told my mates and no one, no one believed me. So I decided I was going to get proof of this talking auto aim peeing turtle. I went to get my camera and the motherfucker broke it and said, nah. He's looking confident. <laughs> I think uh, the only person who would call a turtle what the fuck bitch is JJ, I think. 
I love how well you know them. That's yeah, right. Well in, Four mate. out of five. That's well in. <laughs> He's the only one that would say what a fuck bitch at a time. And I know he'd do it in his cassette on KSI voice. Like, what the fuck bitch? Yeah. <laughs> so that's four out of five. Oh, halfway. Right. This is fun. Right. Snapchat, this is April 19th, 2015, so a long time ago. Cool. Snapchat is a mad ting. There's triple X rated stuff. Snapchat should integrate the sex ting Amigle did. If you're looking for nudes, click here. Wow. <laughs> it's not Toby, man of God. <laughs> Going to be Toby. We've got one of them out there. Wouldn't be Vic. Too 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 politically correct. Like Don't think it would have been me because I think I've spoken about. I just said Snapchat's like a nude app before, right? Because that's what it was and it still is pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, but this is pretty much what that's saying. It is, but ting sex ting. Mm. <laughs> Make it a sex ting. Omegle sex ting. Who done Omegle? Simon did Omegle. JJ's done a few Omegles. Wouldn't it be Josh? Oh. <laughs> this is so tense I love it <laughs> I want to Simon says ting a lot and he tweets ting a lot I'm going to say Simon wrong fuck it was you oh <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog oh yeah. oh I should have just I should have backed myself that I knew I tweeted about it <laughs> fuck yeah. wait is that four out of six four out of six, six. Okay. I'll take yeah. it to be fair yeah, yeah you're doing well yeah. if I get five I'll be chuffed <laughs> you'll, you'll get five you'll get five here we go November 5th 2016 what is life? My day has been ruined by an unfaithful penguin, FML. Sketty penguin. Sketty penguin. Who would say that? Tobe Jizzle. So quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well in. How? Um, I know how Toby reacts to things that happen in games, and I assume that was probably on Club, Club Penguin. And he would, at the time frame, I'm, I'm thinking it, it must be. Yeah. And he would have said Sketty Penguin. That would have been one of his insults. Uh, very too. good. Very impressive. I'm well impressed. July 11th, 2017, all in caps lock. I don't give a fuck. Put it up your anus. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to answer because one of us has tweeted this <laughs> I don't give a fuck put it up your anus <laughs> so many S's in anus put up your lot, anus a lot of anus mm. it's not Josh not Toby not Vic not could be Harry <laughs> it's either JJ or Harry at this point I wouldn't have put, put it up your anus <laughs> I know I wouldn't I hope I haven't anyway I don't give a fuck put it up your anus oh it could be me <laughs> I'm stuck between three. JJ Harry on me. JJ Harry on me. Oh, JJ would like to play with anuses. <laughs> that, that's, uh, back in the day, you would have loved an anus tweet. Or, or you might, that's uh, one for the trailer. I'm going <laughs> to say Harry, fuck it, because I haven't said anything. Oh, wrong. It was KSI. Oh. KSI, bollocks. So what we got? Five out of eight. Five, Five out, out of eight. eight. Two more points up for grabs. Come on. Let me guess. Yeah. April 5th, 2017. Bogies are actually bear weird. <laughs> oh, boy. bear weird. God. Bogies are bear weird. I'm trying to analyze a sentence. Bear. Me, me and Josh say bear. Toby says bear. Uh, JJ doesn't. Vic doesn't. What date was it? April the fifth, two thousand seventeen. I don't think. Oh, Vic might have said bear at that point. You know. <laughs> Because he come from Sheffield and he didn't even know what grime music was. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, know, didn't have a clue. And hanging around with Josh and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. changed. Rubs off on him. Yeah, I don't think he would have said bogeys are bare weird in a tweet though. Toby, Josh, me. Toby, Josh, me, or Simon. Four. Fuck. I'm going to say me. Bogeys are bare weird. Correct. Yes, yeah. it was you. Yeah. You're on the you. second that, time. That, 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 that's sort of a process. I I think about weird things like that. I you're, think, you're yeah. working out is so good it's, for this. Yeah, like, it's, it's <laughs> it goes to the date and then how one of the boys would have been speaking around that yeah. time. It's unreal. <laughs> uh, last one. And certainly the weirdest. December the 7th, 2017. Would suck 12 dicks in exchange for just one day of Logan Paul's merch sales. Oh. <laughs> when was this? This was uh, 2017. This two two is, years ago. This is either Simon or myself. <gasps> this is Simon or myself. Would you suck 12 dicks for just one day of. <laughs> I think I would have tweeted this. I think I could have tweeted this because at the time Logan was making racks. Yeah. And I know Simon appreciates Logan's content and his merch. Because mm. I think I've replied to a tweet saying like I'd suck dick for Logan's merch piece. But did you tweet it? I think I did tweet this. You think it's you? I don't think Simon would have said I'd suck 12 dicks, but I think I would have, <laughs> I think I would have just... It's like 13. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's me. I think it's me. I would think... I've, I think... Because I've got an image of me replying this to a tweet. I think it's me. No? Is that your answer? 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, go on then. It's not you. Uh, is it? It's not Simon. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry. Yeah. It's Harry. <laughs> I'm running the tweet through my head now. Yeah. Fuck, it is, is Harry. You Six out of ten is not bad. Six out of ten is not bad. Round of applause. Round of applause for yes. that. I'll take that. <laughs> we're going uh, to go for a little break there. I think we need one after them tweets. And when we come back, we're going to have a little chat about YouTube boxing, a bit about your weight loss, and uh, hear about this London Marathon that's coming up. Uh, come, come back after this. Hello guys and welcome back to Jack Makes Happy Hour. In the first half of the show, we did a lot. We spoke about cod. We spoke about spoke about sucking twelve dicks for merch. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's all happening. Um, Ethan, yes, ex big boy, yeah, now gym boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I suppose so. Yeah. How often are you go into the gym now? Pretty much seven days a week. Seven. Yeah, but they're not all intense tr training sessions or whatever. He calls you a gym boy and you go, oh, I suppose like every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Well, I'll you don't have it. a rest day. Uh, I have an active rest day where I might go and I'll just whack on, like I got into Shooter recently, so I'll whack two episodes of that on and walk up a hill for a bit. Really? Yeah, because I feel like you're better off keeping your like blood flowing around your body on an active rest day than you are just being stagnant, sitting yeah. in your pants or whatever. Do you feel guilty if you have a day off now? No, because I know my output throughout the week. Mm. It's something I struggled with before mm. uh, because I think, oh shit, I had a shit day. I need to make up for it. Whereas now I know that my output throughout a week is going to be greater than just maybe missing one day. If because sometimes you shouldn't you shouldn't be training if you've if you've had an exhausting schedule and you're up at eight and you've barely slept that night as well and then you you get back in from a shoot and you haven't really eaten properly on the shoot. Mm. There's you it might actually knock you back if you do try and push yourself on a, on a day like that right well what do you I'm, I'm someone who I'm very much like a casual gym mm. goer so I'll, I'll go three four times a week but I'll eat shit and stuff yeah. like that what I always struggle with the diet is yeah, that the hardest bit yeah you can't out train a bad diet no matter what you do I yeah. mean like at the minute with the amount of running I'm doing I can afford to snack, snack a little bit here and there but I still don't eat just dirty snacks like not like whole tubs of Pringles like I used to or whatever. yeah I'll have like Proper corn and stuff like that, stuff that I, I enjoy. What I love this man. Yeah, yeah but he uh, doesn't get it in a meal deal. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like... get proper no, corn? No, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not getting in my meal deal. No chance, mate. Do, you, do, um, do you eat a lot of fruit? No. Murder. Oh, no, you said no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready. I was so ready. <laughs> ready. Um, no, I don't, but yes. <laughs> fruit murdering. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of fruit, so I think me and Alfie would get on all right. I think you'd be all right with me. But that, that the whole segment had me in stitches in the gym. I couldn't hold it in. Absolutely ready to bust bust out laughing. That video has definitely done the rounds like on yeah, Twitter and mad, stuff. Isn't yeah, it? Mate, it needs millions of views. That video <laughs> needs millions of views, mate. I think, I think that the, the mob will come out, like the angry mob will come out they to get him. Will, but that'd be even better. Mm. That'd, 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 <laughs> he, he could be a martyr. <laughs> or he dies for the cause. There'd be other fruitarians that come out and then you'd have like this great Cult. comments debate and Twitter debate of like, Oh, does it have a soul or, or whatever? <laughs> it definitely does. No, but of course not. <laughs> yeah. My bananas don't have souls. That's not sat, it's not sat in my kitchen bowl like this. Like, fuck, I wish I was back on the tree. In, in any world. Um, what do you think about... Um, I'm, I go through stages of like trying to do challenges. So mm. I like did the 50 days of fitness. It did me really well and stuff. Yep. I'm now trying to do 50 days of being a vegetarian. Okay. Does that... What's your opinion on like vegetarians that like can you still bulk up or do you need to eat meat in order to? Um, I don't think you need to eat meat. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's what's best for everyone. Like I tried keto, I tried pescatarian, I've tried doing lots of things for like a month here or there, just seeing how I react to it. Like, yeah, I I am not made to do keto in any way, so shape or form. Really? No, I tried doing it. Um, I tried eating like Ronaldo for a week, and his the only his was just extremely low carbs. Yeah. So he only I had, saw the video you did on yeah, that. Yeah. So he only had avocado and toast. That was pretty much the only carbohydrates that he had in his his whole sort of listed diet that was on the yeah. on the newspaper article. Um, and my body just try, it just fails, mate. It just fails. Like I did the whole week, and I just can't. Did you only do it for a week though? Yeah, yeah. No, we've we've because I've done keto diet. Yeah, yeah. I've got a degree in sports science, health, oh, okay, exercise nice. as well. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, with with keto, it tends to take at least two weeks really? to actually oh, okay, go yeah. into ketosis to actually. Yeah, get it going yeah that's a, 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 even just low carbs whatever it is oh my mate, god well, no, this is the thing so because I did it for a month to six weeks mm. and that first two weeks was hell mate, oh, mate like, the fuck did you get migraines things like that it's and fucking the, horrific during the same week I tried the uh, the seal fitness test 
on that Good week. God, no. wow. because, yeah. because I was just no. trying to get ahead on videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mate, I got to the running segment and I, I bailed uh, halfway through the mile and a half because I was like, I'm Charlie, mate, I'm going to pass out or throw up all over this treadmill. Yeah. My body was in complete shutdown. That's that's that is literally zero carbs, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. As low yeah. as you can, as low yeah. as you can possibly get. Yeah, it's mad though because when you, I, I experienced it. Like, let's like say first two weeks, fucking mm. hell. When you go into ketosis, I felt unbelievable. Yeah, that's Lethar- right. lethargy. Didn't feel lethargic at all. Felt incredible. Mm. Felt very awake, very alert. It's just incredibly <laughs> hard to maintain. And yeah. then in the end, I got injured, so I had to had to stop. But yeah. but yeah, fucking. I, it's, if you can get through that fortnight, you're laughing. So but what to are you do eating? What you did in that first <laughs> week, mate? <laughs> fucking hell. Mate, it was, it was the worst thing that I've ever meat. even what can you yeah. actually eat during this you only know carbs I know yeah. <laughs> so, meat That's fish my, vegetables yeah, like my, my mate Charlie he is one walking carbohydrate mate like, he, <laughs> yeah. he, for his dinner he will have like um, a pasta with like a garlic bread or, or whatever and I'm like lad where's the protein like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what, what protein it's all beige yeah. Yeah. where's the yeah. this is exactly yeah, it and yeah, I'm yeah. like lad you've mm. slapped butter on it or whatever I'm like, yeah. Yeah. please help the meal like the meal is the meal's got a soul and it's yeah, 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 yeah. screaming yeah. for it mate yeah no I, I, I've been trying this veggie thing for a bit mm. but mm. All, all I have done is just got a Domino's and got a veggie supreme. Should I tell yeah, you that, I love vegetable pizzas. My really? favourite pizzas are peppers, onions, sweet corn. Yeah, like that, yeah, it is good. But I thought it, by default this would make me more healthy. As no, not haven't you just eaten meatless versions of food that you'd normally eat? So you yeah. get a burger, but vegan. So <laughs> I'm, I'm trying like the alternatives to yeah. see because I'm not going to go meat free for a long time yeah. no. so when I go back to eating meat I just want to know can I swap out the odd burger here for yeah. like yeah. so like the Linda McCartney mozzarella burgers mm-hmm. are incredible like yeah. better than like most burgers yeah, I've yeah. had I've, I've been exposed to because my girlfriend's parents are vegan so I've been exposed recently to some crazy shit mm. but I had I had a vegan uh, shepherd's pie the other day and I tell you honestly if I'd have just gone to a table and that was on there and I'd eaten it I yeah. wouldn't have been able to tell you that it wasn't a mm. meat shepherd's what, pie I, th- I think we're heading into a into a sort of time where meat meatless options and, mm. and variants are now going to get even more just similar yeah, to the, the real thing I think we're, it's the way people are producing foods now Yeah, I just think way beyond my time mm. you'd probably be able to download a meal or something I don't know <laughs> But like you, 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 the science behind meals and stuff like that, I think beyond my time will just be ridiculous. Like yeah, yeah. You had to like program your meal to. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. I, I can't remember if it's someone we had on here or not, or whether I listened to a different podcast. But somebody said that they they they're expecting meat to be illegal in like a hundred years time. Could have been Alfie, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's crazy. If you watch a load of the documentaries and stuff, mm. it is it. I don't want to be like shifted to that way of thinking, mm. but I am seeing shit that is kind of you can't argue yeah, with. There's, yeah, there's some undisputable and the things. morality behind yeah. it and there, things. There is are insane. some undisputable facts. Mm. Um, but there was one documentary that was on BBC. I can't remember what it was, but it was almost like it was set in like twenty, like I don't know, like three thousand and twenty or something like that. Yeah. Um, and it was just like people were like now just vegetable lovers and stuff. Like Alfie, yeah. Alfie would yeah. be shining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just like everyone. And if you was to if people were still to have like family members that ate cheese and stuff like that, they'd be shunned. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you've done that. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it doesn't surprise me, but I think it's just the way we sort of live nowadays. It's very convenient, isn't it, to go to a shop and grab a mm. chicken, chicken breast yeah. or like that in like yeah, a sandwich or whatever it is. Like, Nando's, it's very, can't it's, beat it. It's just very simply, uh, easily and cheap. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's your go-to Nando's order? Go to Nando's order. Oh, it's changed over the years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but nowadays I'm a medium butterfly right? Oh. with spicy rice and a corn on a cob. Oh, decent. Oh, That's very nice. similar to mine. Yeah. I, lo- I love your uh, story about corn on the cob and why you eat it the way that you do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So please, please for, enlighten me. I go for medium butterfly, corn on the cob, and then some wings on the side. Okay, no. And um, I was eating a corn on the cob once and like gnawing into it as you yeah, do with yeah, a yeah. gnashing away. Yeah. yeah. And uh, somebody had taken a picture of me and uploaded it to Twitter and everyone said I'm just like the ugliest eater. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now I have this like phobia of eating right. corn. So, okay. so I hold the corn up sort of like vertically so stood up. and just scrape. Oh, sc- do I do this when I, so I might go to the supermarket and I might grab like sweet corns mm. um, 
And then, yeah, you cook them and then put a thing in it. I've got a whole tool to like... Have yeah, you? Yeah, because then yeah. you just get sweet corn. Like, you don't have yeah. to have a cob. Like, yeah. I've, I've, I've done that, but not in, not in Nando's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not performing, yeah. like, surgery on my... Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think the reasoning behind is so sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? they, it's like childhood they, they trauma, took isn't that, it? They took there. that away from you. <laughs> There's going to be a Netflix documentary about <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. People out there, you don't realise how these pictures yeah. affect yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How, how much weight have you lost now? It is around... If we're talking just sheer weight, I was 110 kilos. The lowest I got to was 79. Right. So That's incredible. Wow. Well 28, done. 29, 30 or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I can't you look that. so different. Like, I know. Oh. Yeah. I, you must be like super like proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it's. Yeah. I'm in my head like it's it's cliche, but that's still me. Like I'm, that's all I knew for 22 years. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. still me. So like when people say, "Oh, you look great," or whatever, like I I still think like you're just waffling, right? Like, yeah. I don't, like I still oh, see you, you, you don't like see you don't see the difference. I can see how far I've come. Yeah, but in certain scenarios, that's still me. Like it yeah. hasn't changed. So like in certain ways of like how I regard myself if I'm around other people or like good looking women and stuff. Like yeah. I'm getting a little bit more confident now, mm. but there's still like, I I wouldn't even bother trying to speak to some people because I'm like, I'm just, I'm still just Ethan, mate. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's weird because I'll, I've never been like big, big, mm. But like when I look back at, if I go through like a bit of a fitness thing mm. and then I look back at my video from like two months ago, I can notice it yeah, in my yeah. face. It was yeah. mad. Yeah. Mad. So like yours was, it was so dramatic. When you think back to, to being at your largest, mm. were you, were you bothered in the, in the moment about your weight and stuff? Was that something that played with your mental health or? Yeah, without doubt. But I think you, you shun it, you push it down, like you suppress it quite yeah. a lot. So you wake up in the morning, you might you know, go and get in the shower, you get out, you're just like, oh, fuck's sake, yeah. But it was always, oh, I'll do that next week, or I'll go to the gym next week, or I'll do that tomorrow. Mm. Or I'll probably start, oh, I could go and get a naked smoothie or, or whatever it is, like I can probably just start something. Yeah. But it just always gets pushed to, to the back because you almost don't want to address it at that point. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I always floated in between the thing of getting as big as this fucking table mm. and staying where I was, but right. not going anywhere other than that. Like it was weird because I was sort of aware of the fact that I was how I was, yeah. but I'd never did anything about it. Yeah. So I sort of stayed in that limbo yeah. of like not getting huge, but just there. Yeah. What What was the day that made you change? Do you remember it? Was there yeah, one the, moment? Yeah. So obviously JJ's lead up to the Joe Weller fight, there was like a month where he just mate you like blinked and he you could see every part of him like it was like oh fuck this guy's been putting in a shift yeah like, we knew his trainer but he's been putting a shift so seeing that was quite inspiring and then he had trainers at the time Dida and Vidal hmm. um we had a new year's party and Dida was there and he came up to me he's like I'd really like to train you so that was at that time I was just still this big whale bloke whatever mm -hmm. and I was like oh that's nice like the fact that someone's said like I'd be nice to train you um and of, of course December JJ was two months away from the fight. So mm. I, I'd said, I was like, I don't, don't start now. Like, there's no point now because JJ, I want JJ's, there's no point taking attention away from mm -hmm. JJ's training leading up to this fight. So JJ won the fight. After that, I think it was almost like the week or two, uh, two weeks after that, I had my first session with Dida and um, I think it's still on his Instagram and stuff like that. So it was just like, take inspiration from my friends and whatever else he did and then, put the sort of same things in place of how I want to bet myself like mm. and that's why the sort of Nick Crompton fight came along because it was mm. almost like setting up like this thing it didn't even we did I th I didn't think Nick Crompton would reply mm. honestly I, di I didn't think he'd even address it yeah Um. but he did and then that was sort of like a uh, bang All right cool I'm gonna go in there that was like your end goal sort yeah. of thing yeah. so when that fell through what what kept you motivated was it seeing the changes did yeah. you did you know when you first had that first training session mm. and you came away feeling good mm. did you know you'd keep it up no you didn't no 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 because I I went through a stage in like October two years ago before that where I'd slimmed down just a tiny bit mm. and people were like oh they look good but then pff, balloon straight back up so I just thought is this going to be another one of those like am I really going to take it this far but I think I sort of programmed in my head that I'm going to whack this guy to smithereens. Yeah. Um, mm. So that was sort of my, that was it. I, 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 mean, I didn't know what I'd do beyond the fight yeah. at that point. But then when it all fall, fell through, I think at the time you could see in my training and the videos I'd uploaded, I'd completely changed in the space of like three months already. Yeah. Just because of how seriously I took it. I was doing my, doing my personal training sessions in the mornings, then going to boxing at six or seven, doing that and then coming home, resting, whatever. Yeah. So I took it like deadly, deadly serious. Yeah. What, what advice would you have for, well, before we get to the advice, yeah. is your, 
is your head a lot better now? Like oh, now physically yeah. you look better. Does yeah. that help? Oh, with your... absolutely. That's that's one thing. I went through like a super horrible dark stage. That, and it was sort of like a mixture of burnout, not liking how I, where I was in life my, with my physical appearance, like everything. Mm. So you, you find vices. Like I used to smoke weed quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I used to drink like just Jack Daniels, <clears throat> mate. I'd, I'd, I'd go through pints of it. Right. Um, so I went through like a really horrible stage in, in that way. So when I look at myself then to now, it's the way like I just maneuver myself in conversations or like stresses like my my calendar at the minute is the busiest I've ever been but I think I can attribute a lot of that to being how I've grown throughout that process mm. is, is now that I maneuver and enable myself in other situations now mm. so much clearer than I ever did before whereas before did it affect your work? Yeah, before? exactly. Yeah. So, something with stuff's flying in at you all the time. Information, mm. people's feelings, your relationships outside of that, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it, humans juggle so much stuff that I think it, it can all just get a little bit too much up here. Especially if, on top of that, you're not happy with who you are mm. and you don't feel like you really have much purpose other than just being whatever it is. Mm. You just go through that horrible, and you just sort of just seize up there's, off. Not, there's not really much you can do about it until you take the steps to help yourself mm. what advice would you give to anyone out there that's perhaps overweight perhaps not mm. happy with how they look is it, it sounds cliche but it, it really is a lot of people say how do you find motivation and stuff like that. it's sort of the same thing you've got to really you really do have to have that almost straight conversation with yourself like I need to help myself here even if it is going for a 20 minute walk that's why I did my 30 day challenge it was like just be active for 20 minutes in a day go for a walk whatever it is yeah it is it may seem like the world's hardest thing to go and go for a 20 minute walk or something like that but as soon as you start putting these little tiny baby steps in progress it, it just comes straight straight to your mind like you feel a bit more motivated mm. you think oh, i enjoyed that walk yesterday let me go for another walk oh, i enjoyed mm -hmm. that lunch let me do it let me do that mm. and then you sort of build up this little foundation of these little bricks that you've put down and you think oh i'm a little bit stronger now all right cool yeah bang all right let me put a bigger brick in place bang and yeah you build this much healthier house and mm. that's yeah. that's a class way of putting it I've, whenever I've taken like a mental stump like mm. and or a slump I should say um, going to the gym best medicine always oh, that, always that, it that, sort that. of helps all aspects of life mm. as well so 100%. yeah if you are struggling get into that um, Ethan before we finish yes I think it would be silly not to ask you a bit about the YouTube boxing of course because you are very much at the heart of it you've done some commentary for <laughs> Sky Sports to Zone yes. That's mad, isn't it? Oh, absolutely ridiculous. When I don't know if many people know how it even came about. How, do, go on, tell us. I was in LA with staying at two friends' house. Yeah. Um, prior to the fight, it was sort of just like a little holiday, just mm -hmm. to go out there and chill. Um, public workouts were literally, I think, 15 minutes around the corner from where I was staying anyway. Right. And I knew JJ had just flown in from Vegas. So I texted him. I was like, I think I'm going to come to the public workouts, mate. See you in a bit. Yeah. Went there, um, did an interview just outside like the the caging for where it was mm -hmm. um, for Boxing Social. Right. Sky had spotted me doing an interview and they was like, oh, Ethan, do you want to come into the public workout live stream? Mm -hmm. um, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll 10, 15 minutes. So I brought the friend who came with me in and was just like, I'll be done in 15 minutes, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Jumped on with Joe, who was there at the time, mm -hmm. and Adam Smith. Adam Smith's mate, the, vo the voice on it. Yeah, oh, yeah. My God. It's I, iconic. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> But he's so welcoming as well. Like, so welcoming. A lot of people will have that sort of mentality of, like, they're YouTubers or whatever. Mm. But he's such a lovely bloke. Jumped on there. I was meant to be on there for, like, a 10-minute segment just talking about how JJ's things were. I was on there for an hour and 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, finished finished that up, and I was, and they was like, oh, you was great. And got a text through later that evening. And they was like, we'd love for you to come to the, like, final weigh-ins and be on the stream for the whole weigh-ins and then commentate on Fight Night. Man, that's crazy. But that's testament that's to you and Joe as well, because I think you are yeah. both great speakers. Yeah, yeah. They're, not to just put YouTubers down, but I think there was a lot of people they could have picked that would have done a lesser job. So oh, you need to give yeah. yourself credit for that. Because you, yeah. uh, you know, JJ's at the forefront of like moving YouTubers into mm. into the mainstream, but with yeah. little things like you and Joe and stuff. That's what I, I mean, you, you can't have like trail trailblazers have to have good things that follow them yeah you, you can't just go otherwise it's a one off as an enigma yeah. yeah you go straight through a wall and then it fades out like yeah there has to be other people that that have the same sort of mentality of being like when we do this like we, we're a good product here like yeah. there's, there's, there's something about us that's why people are interested 100%. 100% was it hard for you to um did you have to stay kind of like on the fence when you were commentating on the fight because obviously JJ's I tried, I your boy I, I tried my utmost hardest it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life Absolutely. Yeah. It, it was really really was really extreme <laughs> extremely hard to do mm. um 
but I tried staying on the fence. You, Logan is very, he's very technically good, mm. but JJ can fight. Yeah, that's it. JJ can fight. Logan can box. Logan boxes like he's on the pads all the time. Yeah. Um. But when he when he dropped him with that shot, the first shot is sublime. Yeah. Oh, it's sublime. Yeah. Because he clocked that JJ leads the uppercut, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He clocked that JJ leading him with his head, and he and he right from the hip. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, he's in trouble. I looked over at Joe, and I was like, mate, that's. But then the two after course you're going to get points deducted it's horrible yeah um is yeah try tried to stay neutral but as soon as the decision come in mate headphones off bang <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what no- if you watch a video i don't even know what noises i'm making yeah. mate. i go as red as uh, oh mate oh. i celebrated as if like england had won the world cup oh insane. mate yeah that's what it was moment. he's gone to his backyard yeah. mate, and he's and he's, he's done him in yeah oh, i was absolutely amazing that's what i, I think is when you're in the moment trying to do a job as well, like you, you've got that thought process of like, I need to be doing a professional job here yeah. because that's what I, I want to do. I want to portray myself in a good way. Mm. Um, but then as soon as di- uh, I grabbed the headphones back on, like, I grabbed the mic from wherever I left it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. And then Adam Smith's like, get the fucking YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a mistake. Yeah. Ripping up the contract. Yeah. Yeah. Adam Smith, I forgot, I forgot him on WhatsApp still. Um, the, the two days after the fight or whatever, he sent me a video that he had filmed of me and Jimmy and Gib going, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he sent it to me on WhatsApp and he was like, it was an absolute pleasure, mate. But like, literally, I'd dash headphones, sweet. <laughs> You do get that though, like even in like with our football pundits now, they're all ex footballers. Mm. You see the way yeah. they talk about their teams, like yeah. it's it's to be expected. Yeah. yeah, you can't you can't you can't put it, Ethan on expect him to be. Yeah. No, exactly, complete. it's no, impossible. Yeah. Was there a part of you that wished that you were ringside with the other boys? Though? You can see in my reactions, I look for people. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's instantly the yeah. thing. I, I jumped up, I knew where they were. Mm. So two of the people I was staying with were literally seated just behind me, and then all the sidemen boys were in the front row. Yeah. I had my ticket for the front row thing because I didn't know I was going to be commentating. Right, yeah. Um, but you see, I, I get up and I'm looking around because yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, like I want to yeah. grab him. Like yeah. I want to yeah. go absolutely insane. So there, there's a little bit of you that wishes you was in the mixer with your mates, like having, yeah. really enjoying mm. it. But that's why, as soon as like the broadcast had finished or whatever, I said I was like, Adam, mate, absolutely hero. And then any interviews, I, I quickly did. And then oh, I saw all the boys going off out, out up the stairs, and I was like, lads, I'm going. Yeah, I just dropped, yeah. I dropped, dropped, dropped everything. I was like, I'm going. There's Fair no, play. No we had the uh, the ecstasy of JJ winning that fight, and then obviously recently we've had the agony yes. of um, Gib yeah. Gib uh, losing to to Jake in the first round, as we all know. Yeah, is Jake that good? Jake is better than Logan. Jake, wow, but Jake's mm. better than Logan, right? He, he, and you can you can see that he's he's. I'd agree. Sugar Shane is just different gravy. I yeah. mean, you can tell compared to Shannon Briggs. He knows yeah. he knows his way around. Shane Mosley's one of the only blokes that landed flush on Mayweather in his ho- whole career. Right. Like, there's levels to this game. Like there's Shannon Briggs, yes, he was a heavyweight champion, but now like nowadays, is he in there just for the sort of like having mm. a laugh, or whatever? You don't really know. Yeah. Whereas Shane Mosley will get the job done. Going to Big Bear is probably a big, really good decision for him. Yeah. And then again, like Gib puts in so much work. This guy is so much better than what he's done on that night. Mm-hmm. That's the heart- most heartbreaking thing. Do you think yeah. it was nerves? Um, I don't know because I was in the dressing room with his own on that one. That's what I was doing. I was uh, Gib's locker room. He was absolutely fine, mate. Like it couldn't have been more Gibber yeah. than, I, than I've seen him. Right. Um, Again, it could just come down to being whacked your first time yeah. with those gloves, and especially it's what, uh, when we was up on the balcony and, the, and people were like, "Oh, why has it stopped?" I was like, "Lads, his knees went inwards. Like you can't, yeah. you can't dispute that. Like he got whacked on the temple, mate, and his knees went yeah. inwards. Yeah. And it just so happens, it, it, Jake has a good fight IQ compared to Logan. Logan only noticed that JJ comes in with his head in the third round, yeah. right? Whereas Jake clocked. Gibbs pattern instantly and then lead left hook lead left hook lead left hook he, mm. he's got much better fight IQ than Logan Yeah. so he just figured out Gibbs sort of thing coming yeah. forward bang and then his hand would go bang lead left hook lead left hook just a much smarter fight IQ and that's what that's what's going to help you at the yeah. end of the day. credit where it's due I guess yeah, exactly. as irritating yeah. as it may be yeah. do you do you think we'll see JJ versus Jake some people are saying it's already confirmed it's not confirmed no 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 you won't see it this year Really? No, you won't see it in 2020. Jake's been saying that it's going to happen in yeah, like Jake, July. Jake says a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, of all people, like, Jake, Jake says a lot of things. Yeah. He said it's confirmed that it's happening in Saudi. All right, mate. <laughs> what world are you living in? He also said that you'd have lasted longer than Deontay yeah. Wilder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I just can't take what you say yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it won't happen this year. JJ's got a lot of focus on music. He's got a few festivals lined up, which is huge for where he wants to go with that mm. sort of thing. Mm. If you see it, it'll probably be 2021. Right. Um, would you, would you, if you see it. Would you back it? Would you put your money on it? Like yeah. happening? Uh, I know JJ. Yeah. 
uh, he wants he wants to do it. That's the thing. Like we we said in the chat, we was like, mate, you should just fucking cuck him, mate. Yeah. Because he's nothing without you at this rate. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, you first you first rounded Gib. Yeah. But he is nothing without you, mate. Where does he go? Yeah. What if they it, leave it do? until 2021, do you think it could just fade out and they not happen? The, they left the Logan one for a long time. Left that for. But then it came it, back. In a, but it came back in a big way. Came back in a huge way. Obviously, it helped having like Eddie Hearn and and of stuff course, yeah, they took it, it to it from here to there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people might lose interest. But JJ's just such a huge draw now compared to yeah. the pools. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. That's the thing. They could lose interest in Jake in general, though, yeah, by that, then. That, that's, yeah. what, so, that's what we said mm. is even funnier, mate. Like, imagine... What does he do, mate? Yeah. What does he do without yeah. without this fight? Yeah. But then also, are we all are we going to ignore the worst case scenario? What if fucking Jake did JJ? Listen, and then you, you give lot. then you give that cunt the crown that you don't want to give it. Every yeah. shoot with JJ, I'm like, listen. By the way, if Jake walks away with all the Thanos stones, mate, the yeah. Stones, <laughs> yeah. Like, if, we, if, we've come, <laughs> yeah. if we've come from the copper box, yeah. and it, Joe Weller, Logan, yeah. whatever, no, we've, you're bang yeah. on. we've got all the the Infinity Stones, yeah. and then Jake Paul takes away the whole fucking thing and just clicks yeah. it, mate. I was like, you owe me a trip to the Maldives. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so we, we we was at dinner the other night. Um, it was just a few of us, and we said it was like, right, if the fight does happen, and he walks away with the fucking Infinity Stones, we was like, you're paying for a trip for all of us to the Maldives for two weeks <laughs> because, because there's no don't, just throw the whole of the UK in the bin at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Paul. risk it? You don't owe him anything. No, mate, you just string it. it, just fucking yeah, play yeah, with yeah, it. I agree. Jake has to twerk for JJ. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you're absolutely at the end of right. The day, he does you're absolutely yeah. right. So that's what. But JJ's. JJ's mindset is that he's the best and he's going to whack him to pieces. He's that. a winner, isn't and he? he? Yes, yeah. exactly. And he wants to do that. And if anyone even questions the fact that he might not, yeah. that's when he's like, well, fuck that. I'm going yeah. to get into it. Did he but, agree to the holiday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should. So, so <laughs> if he does <laughs> lose, oh, at least I'm going you can yeah. <laughs> yeah. actually have a still a bit of happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But imagine, imagine JJ putting Jake on the camera. Oh, like, mate, imagine and that. Actually feel- sparking him out. One, yeah. one thing Out-card. I will say is... I know Jake done this whole thing after the fight. He's like, I wasn't planted properly, but I hit hard. Listen, JJ fucking bangs, all right? Yeah. JJ bangs. He's got weird strength. He always has had very odd, oddly weird strength. Yeah. Um, JJ had to fight the way he did against Logan both times because he's fucking massive mm. compared to JJ. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely massive. If you was to see some of the sparring footage that well, we got in the in the build up to the camp of people, sort of similar to JJ's build and height, mm. he whacks him to pieces and he boxes. Right. He had to, and he noticed that if if Logan never threw his right hand because he knew that big looping shot was coming, he, he yeah. just had to do it. Yeah. Whereas I feel like against Jake, they're very well matched and they're both quite built guys for their size. Mm. I think you'll see a lot better boxing match, right, than you did with the Logan one. Yeah. Um. But I think JJ, I think JJ does drop him. I think he at least drops him. None of these, none of these YouTube fights, I think, really do like end in knockouts. Yeah. I don't think any, none of them have been doing it long enough to really put one on the button and knock someone completely out. I don't mm-hmm. think that's going to happen. But I think he drops him. I think he drops him a few times as well and then the ref calls it up. I would absolutely love to see it. I'd yeah. lose oh, I'd lose my sure. shit. I'd cream my Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, well, you're, you've got a bit of a, bit of a run coming up. Haven't you? Yeah. Bit of a run. Just, you're, yeah, you're, I was, uh, running a bit. This, 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 you're this, doing this. the uh, London Marathon. Doing the London Marathon this in year. April. Indeed. Nervous? Yes, but I think there's good nerves. Yeah. I think there's good. You should never confuse yeah. nervousness for fear. Right. Because good nerves, you should relish in. I think you should take them in because you yeah. should. That should. You, you should push you a bit further. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to run 26 miles and have it like documented and stuff like that. Of course I am. You're doing it for Teenage Cancer Teenage Trust. Teenage Cancer Trust. They Obviously. asked me at the end of last year, um, "Hey, does Ethan fancy doing the marathon next year?" And I was like, "Oh." Yeah, go on then. I like a challenge. Yeah. Why not? Like I've I've been yeah. doing this now for like a year and a half year, and back then like mm. I was like, oh, do you know what? Go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sign me up. I'll do it. And then wow. um, and then it sort of sunk in. Like oh, we're really doing this. Now. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're doing this. Like, I had my New Year's, and I was like, right, January the first. Like I've got I've got it on my notes. It's so funny. I've got every day tracked of what I've done. Really? Since then and then how many yeah. miles are you doing a day? Oh, it depends. Like yesterday, I did. Yesterday, I did nine kilometers. But that was that was just like almost segments, like speed segments, right? Like trying to work on the pacing and stuff like that. Yeah. Today, when I get back from here, is is just a strength session. It's yeah. a complete leg dominant, hip dominant stuff, mm-hmm. sort of stuff like that. It's all split up into different things. Um, I think I've run sixty kilometers this week in four days. Fucking hell! Yeah, you got to get the miles in. That's mad. Yeah. I I ran one hundred and ten k in a month, and I thought I was smashing it. So you <laughs> that really puts it, me to it, shame. It's it's it's. It's been really enjoyable though. Yeah. Really enjoyable because it's something I've never done. 
Yeah. Ne- yeah. Never, never, never run in my life. Mm. Not been, oh, I might have done like a 5K here or there, but that was just out of like training, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, you, and I think once you get past like three, four miles, you sort of just zone off and you either think about everything or think about nothing. And that is really nice. Because mm. if you've had like a really busy week or something, you can get the treadmill and just literally just zone off your body's just naturally doing whatever it needs to do file your thoughts off into different yeah, exactly, sort of cabinets yeah. sort of thing or you, you, you just think oh sure I haven't done the washing uh, <laughs> uh, I should probably try and do that this week what think about that holiday in the mall do you are you going to wear a costume no I don't think so really. I don't think <laughs> so my, I, I want to I want to set I want to set a really good time for someone that's never run before I'm going for sub 4 I'd actually I'd actually like to get like around 3.45 is what I'd really really wow. like to take home I'd really that is a good time I'd really be fucking chuffed with myself if I took home a 3.45 fucking hell and the only reason I know that's a good time is because my barber runs all the fucking yeah. time like he's been doing it for years mm. big big runs yeah. and that's his aim well, he, he's obviously a, he's a bit older than you but yeah. yeah I'm like two months out and my estimated race time now is 4.01 so oh, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on there wow so, so I've just got to improve it from yeah. here to there and, yeah. well all the best mate Thank all the you best much, you look mate. you look incredible mate thank um, you very much you're doing, mate. It, you're doing it for a great cause yes. um, trying to raise £5,000 for yes, Teenage Cancer target, Trust yes. where can people go and donate it is on Virgin Money uh, Virgin Money Giving I'm pretty sure you can find it through my Instagram bios Yeah, um, mm-hmm. I've tweeted it a few times uh, go on to any of my platforms and you'll be able to find it on there lovely stuff that's nice. just Bazinga on all of yeah, them Bazinga yeah? on all of them mate it's been an absolute pleasure absolutely pleasure coming down mate thank Please you so much it. for coming down Jordan thank you very much it's been a pleasure mate Stevie thank you that's alright Bazinga thank you very much lovely. this has been Chat Makes Happy Hour we'll see you next week nice one